You're listening to the Biohackers World Podcast. Hi, I'm Leah Lovio, and I am here in Chicago at the very first Biohackers World Conference in 2025. And I have the great pleasure of talking with Shaw Hawk from Oxygen Health Systems. And I've learned, I learned about Oxygen Health Systems and about hyperbaric therapy with many of my clients that actually had cancer and use that after their surgeries for recovery. But it, I would like to first learn, Shaw, a little bit more about you you and how this all got started. Why did you and your co-founder start this system? And just a little bit about the history. Certainly, yeah. thank you. Um, it's a personal story. The founder um, is a dear friend of mine. We worked together at Bell Labs. We're Bell Labs nerds. AT&T, Lux and Technologies, Bell Labs nerds, two engineers. And he was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And that really hit me quite hard because I've known this guy, you know, for a very long time, over two decades. I mean, I literally have seen his first son, you know, being brought uh, home and uh, the birth of his second, you know, daughter. So it really hit hard. And by the way, they're all grown up. The son is now 23 years old and the daughter is studying biomedical engineering so needless to say it really hit hard and then when my career was going in the corporate direction HP Lucent Technologies Bell Labs and then with a minor stint at Abvi the third largest global pharmaceutical company I just had a little sense of awakening that uh, you know I really need to do something different uh, and while Michael was suffering from this I you know, wanted to do something you know, with him and to come to his aid. His, his family needed everyone's help that they could. So it sort of changed the entire trajectory of my career. So just imagine from two engineering nerds into the device that is called the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So that's quite a transformation from a personal journey, emotionally quite touching, and then trans, you know, transform me to be on this path. That's amazing, and I think that is the story of a lot of entrepreneurs, especially in the wellness industry, right? There's something that happens that makes you think, we need to do something to help people. We need to do something to help people recover from illness, whatever that illness may be. So you work with a lot of institutions and a lot of sports teams, a lot of um, plastic surgeons and medical practices. Can you tell me a little bit more about who are the types of entities, people, or groups that benefit the most or are really starting to incorporate this oxygen hyperbaric therapy more and more? Gotcha. The journey of hyperbaric therapy, as you know, started in 1632 by Henshaw. But from that time on, it has taken such a transformative path that it truly changed the course of the way that we live. The, the biggest development came in the 1920s, 30s, 50s, and then later on in the 80s. And the key individuals have done an enormous amount of work in order to make this product a viable regular wellness product incorporating into people's lives on a daily basis. So the clients that we have right now from this massive development in technology, a perfect marriage as I call it, Mm -hmm. between medicine and engineering are the plastic surgeons, the performance athletes, some of the teams that I have personally worked with, New York Yankees, New York Giants, Pittsburgh Penguins, Minnesota Twins, and those soccer fans out there, the Inter Miami, where Messi uh, plays. So all of these teams, as well as the MDs, the uh, wellness clinic owners, the proprietor themselves are using it, uh, or very high-end luxury uh, institutions where they're providing the wellness coaching, all of those plus everyday people, such Mm -hmm. as you and I, that's something that we've never seen before. So let's break it down a little bit by the uses. So let's talk about the athletes and their performance. Are the athletes typically using this pre or post performance? Are they using it for recovery or to amplify their performance or both? All of those, exactly as you've touched them. So they're using it pre because it gives them an enormous 
oxygenation just before a game, they're using it just before the game or prior to getting into the game day, and then the injuries, or even if it's no injuries, the inflammation micro tear that the high performance sports would cause in order to recover, all of those are being incorporated. So the director of high performance or director of sports medicine, by the way, these are all physicians or they are under direct supervision of you know, sports physicians. They are board certified physicians. They are all incorporating all of those events to make it an all encompassing full spectrum performance benefits uh, from the sports club uh, perspective. And then, so for the cosmetic surgery, as you discussed, what, why would somebody incorporate this? Is it, again, before the surgery, after the surgery, and what are the direct benefits of using the oxygen therapy? And what do people notice when they incorporate it versus not incorporating it in recovery, for example? Very good, very good question. Um, they're using it for post to prep the body, be ready for the surgery. After all, you are the candidate, the patient would go through a major invasive surgery. And the surgery doesn't really matter. Whether it's neck up or neck down, augmentation, doesn't matter. What the physicians, the plastic surgeons are focusing is how to get the patient back into their daily lives in a faster time frame. So one way they do that is by preparing the patient just before the surgery and 24 hours or 48 hours or as deemed necessary by the surgeon themselves, necessary to stay away and just recover for 24 to 48 hours and then put them into the chamber. Um, in the highest possible pressure that possible, 2.0 is the typical number, 2.0 ATA or 102 approximate kilopascal. And they're noticing that the, the scar tissue um, are repairing faster. The angiogenesis, which is the creation of blood vessels, is allowing them to heal faster. And the patient is getting back into the regular routine just by using post, pre, post, and then con continuing as deemed necessary by the physicians for the, the most expeditious of recovery. Amazing. And so for daily use, for example, you, you're saying that some higher end clinics are now just using this for people on a regular basis. Maybe they don't have any real issues, but are there still benefits just to make it part of your longevity, anti-aging and wellness practice? And what does that look like? Yes, it uh, has been shown by everyone knows this figure, Dr. Shai Efrati, the Tel Aviv University Segal Clinic uh, hyperbaric physician. He discovered that the you don't have to have an ailment in order to you know get into the hyperbaric world or incorporating hyperbaric into your regular routine. What he has noticed that when you use it regularly between three to five times a week, use the HHP hyperoxic hypoxic paradox, 20 minutes on, five minutes off, relative deprivation of hypoxia, and then you continue throughout the session after 30 to 40 sessions you may experience the telomere length increase. And it is the telomere, or shortening of that, the two tails under the, at the end of our DNA, that causes the aging you know, process, natural aging process. Or in other words, using hyperbaric between 30 to 40 sessions, you're actually reversing age because the telomere lengths are increasing. That's extraordinary. Yeah. Now, when people are using this, now I think it's different for someone who's recovering from something, right? Because it's actually a lot easier to notice the effects of a therapy or a treatment when you're recovering, whether or not it's benefiting you. But for people that really don't have main issues and you know they just want to do it for the increasing their telomeres and reversing aging, mm -hmm. do, is there an actual physiological feeling or is there something that they've reported that they actually notice a difference? Maybe in increased brain cognition or um, lung capacity or anything like that? Yes, every body is different. My body, the way that it uh, returns to my steady state is different than yours. So the reported benefits from using this chamber, people are reporting that they get to sleep better. So that would be one common thing that we see. People who are uh, anemic, for instance, they are not having those symptoms. People who are having brain fog, COVID-19 changed our life. It turned our world upside down. So what they're noticing that 
by using the hyperbaric chamber, that cognitive or lack thereof cognitive function that you stated, they get to clear or rather have clear thoughts that sort of fogginess in the brain is dissipating. It's just becoming a steady state and they're returning to, to their normal state using this chamber on a regular basis. I know a lot of people complain about cognitive decline or lack of memory. Another thing that I hear a lot, especially after COVID, a lot of people with asthma, with lung issues, with breathing issues. The lung would depend on your capacity you know, in which that we take in air. Usually that's about, at a BMR, basal metabolic rate, that's about three and a half uh, milliliter per kg per minute. Or for a men, it would be about 200 to 250 milliliter per minute. For a woman, it would be between 190 and 200 milliliter per minute. What VO2 max training is showing, where we pant like dogs and we increase our capacity our lungs capacity, pulmonary capacity to increase the oxygen absorption is that using that regimen, the training, plus the oxygen HBAR therapy, they are able to increase their VO2 max. Now that's remarkable. I'm only looking at data. I'm not a doctor. I'm an engineer. But they are reporting that they are getting to breathe better because of the optimized usage of oxygen through either a BMR or VO2 max state. Now, are these only available at clinics or do you have different types of equipment that people can use? Do you have just one? Do they have to go somewhere? Can they buy it? What, what are the Very options? Very good question. So for the clinics, you know, you may want to contact your local clinic. They may be our clients, you know, whether they are or not, that's irrelevant. For personal use, we have machines of 40 different kinds of which 25 of them are available at our showroom. When people come in, they are potentially business owners, but they also would like to have something for their home. And they perhaps would want to have something in common. So no matter what their usage are, we have created designs that would be best suited for that particular environment. Remember, your B2B and your B2C, you may have combination of both clinics, physicians, as well as your consumer, direct consumer. So we have models that would fit, allowing the consumers, whether they are surgeons or home user, to have one model that would be just right for them, depending on what they're looking for. Okay. Um, so I would like to ask you, how do you incorporate oxygen therapy in your life? And do you combine it with anything else, like maybe any mindful practices or biohacking practices that you do? on a daily basis, and do you recommend any combinations thereof? I do. Life is full of challenges, but we need to do the best we can. You know, um, I personally was a vegan for eight years. I no longer am a vegan, now I'm pescatarian. So how did I incorporate hyperbaric into my life? I was also a martial artist for over 20 years, and I have done tremendous damage to my body, as you know. When you're a martial artist, you create enormous repeated impact. So my impact zone was my spine. Three surgeries, three spine surgeries. L4, L5, disectomy and laminectomy. L5, S1, disectomy, laminectomy, and then repeat L4, L5. Every single time that I had that surgery, I got the okay from my neurosurgeon that used the chamber 24 hours after your surgery. And then on top of that, many martial artists and gymnasts, especially among women, um, young, you know, adult women or young or adult women, what they do is they go through a very fast wear and tear of their joints. So I had a, a femoral head, head replacement, you know, cutting the femoral head, you know, putting a titanium plate and a ball and then relocating and then doing the stitches. And I was given 12 weeks. On fifth week, I went hiking, meaning that's extraordinary. <laughs> yeah, now I could be clinical anomaly, and, <laughs> right. and I'm not a doctor, I could be clinical anomaly, but I'm just speaking from my personal experience. On top of that, of course, I do mindfulness and taking five minutes off in a day. Just sit quiet and do nothing. Let your thoughts float. So those are some of the things that I do. Diet, wellness, uh, my belief system, whatever you believe in, incorporate anything that you can, and you will see the changes. I love that, and I and I love that you said five minutes. You know, because nowadays people are so busy, and when you tell them to 
practice mindfulness or meditation, they automatically think, oh goodness, I have to sit there for 20 minutes and meditate. Which is not the case, right. It, well, it's just difficult, right? Like, who ha like not too many people have that time. But are there any, um, okay, so you practice mindfulness for five minutes, you've changed to pescatarian. Correct. And how often do you incorporate oxygen therapy now? I'm doing, right now I'm taking a little break for my career or whatnot, but I, when I do hyperbaric therapy, I do two times a week or three times a week. Now that's for maintenance. During my surgery and post-surgery, I use seven days a week but I got the okay from my physician, right. from my surgeon. So to recap, if you're tr just trying to maintain general wellness, I'm assuming you have made, made a commitment with foods, you have made a commitment with mindfulness, you have made a commitment to change your life for the better. Two to three times a week, that should be plenty. And if you're preparing for surgery, then of course you need to do a little bit longer or always listen to your physicians. I love that. So there you have it, guys. Shah Hawk from Oxygen Health Systems. And I think this was absolutely fantastic. I love that you can incorporate it a little bit at a time or you can use it for some extraordinary acceleration of healing, which everyone's looking for that. So stay tuned. And where can people find you guys? OxygenHealthSystems.com. And we are right here in Chicagoland in Woodridge, Illinois. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Chicago, you've been great, but we can't wait to see Miami in November. Get ready to biohack your best life, baby.